Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is tape our weaving strips together. So I have some masking tape here. And I'm going to tape it to my surface just lightly. Let me move that down so you can see it. There we go. All right, so I'm not pushing it to my surface because I want to take these strips. This is one six inch packet and I'm going to kind of slide it underneath just so that the very top of that piece of paper is taped down. You want your strips to be next to each other and pretty much close to touching and tape each one down as you go along. So you might have to lift your paper or your tape up a little bit and try and make sure that you're just touching um, the top of this paper. You don't want it to slide out from underneath your tape, but you don't really want to lose that much of your paper strip underneath the tape. So in a loom, this is called uh, loom waste. This is your loom waste. Try and make sure that they're straight and not crooked. You don't want your strips to overlap. that's gonna cause a problem with weaving. It's better if there's a small gap than an overlap. All right, so I have two more pieces that I ran out of room, so I'm just gonna add more tape. Any tape will do for this, really. Anything will be fine. All right, there we go. So now all of these vertical strips are called your warps. They are the vertical strands in a weaving. So warp goes up and down. Weft goes side to side. So I like to think of your weft strips as they go left and right because they're weft. So we are going to be working our colored strips as our weft strips. So here we're just going to do a simple plain weave. Plain weave is every other. So up, down, up, down. Each alternating strip gets pulled up. Your strip gets slid through. Paper in there. Now slide this up to the top as much as you can. Now I'm going to work with a different colored strip and I'm going to alternate. So my paper went underneath this one, so it's going to go over this one and under the next. And then slide that up so that it is visually touching the one before. Now I'm going to do my third row, which alternates my second row. One thing I did do to make it easier on myself to uh, photograph this and get this up is I taped it down to my surface and I can very easily pull this tape up and fold it over to the back of my piece. So now when I do this, I have to be very careful to not pull the paper off of the tape, but to pull the tape off of my table. So I have it up. Now I'm going to flip it over and fold this excess tape back. This helps secure all of your pieces where they are supposed to be. If I have some extra tape hanging out here, I can cut that off. I can fold this down. And fold this over. And if things still seem a little bit wobbly on the back, you can add some tape around the edges on the back too. Again, any tape will work. You just don't want it sticking out past the edges on the back. So maybe I want to put some over here because this seems like a little loose. 
Okay, so I will photograph this and upload it to the assignment in Schoology and start the next weave structure.